to another Bobby's Backyard Auto Works. Today we got a little something special. Check it out. Yeah, 1969 Chevy Sportsman 90 van. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, little bit of upgrades on it. Uh, I think it's got the 268 uh, in it. Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't know if they've switched it out or not. So um, he's gonna put an LS in it and rear end and all that. But for right now, he just wants to upgrade it and just get a little bit more pep, a little bit better fuel, stuff like that. So he went ahead and uh, got a used Edelbrock, uh, used uh, rebuilt Edelbrock carburetor, two headers, and then we're gonna do an oil change. Uh, drain the coolant, do a coolant change because uh, got to drain the coolant anyways to change the intake. And I think that's about it. And hopefully it should run a lot better. It runs super rich right now and it's got a, like a two barrel carburetor but we'll go through the whole, whole van so you guys can check it out. It's a clean little van. It's got its little bumps and bruises and it uh, does have a little bit of rust but it is all fixable. Repairable, however you want to say it. It's got them OG craters. Sports Sport Band 90. It's a nice little van. Like I said, right here's the rust. But all repairable. All repairable. Inside pretty cool. The roof is good. Love these old vans. Bumping the six by nines. Seats are in good condition. The floor is in good condition. Oh, and also I'll probably install a vintage air. Show you that real quick. Right there. Probably be installing that too in a couple weeks. Best feature on this van though, check this out. This is real cool. Step comes out for you and everything. Probably lube it up so it won't squeak so bad. But yeah, that little lever. Alright, so that's the van. Here are the parts. Let's get to work. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Also, we're gonna put HEI distributor, MSD. And I did something off camera. I should have. And then check this out. I got a little idea. It should work. I got this old cigar box. And since it's pretty much impossible to find this cover, since we're doing everything all custom and everything, 
Huh. I thought, let's use this. This is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this cover off right now. And then what I'm going to do is slice the bottom. So it slides in here, cut a hole, go over it, and then drill a hole for the arm to go in. I know it sways up and down, so I'll probably either oval it or something like that. I'll figure it out. I'll see if he likes that idea, but I like the idea because if you ever want to get to in here to unhook it or whatnot, you open the little box, you got little access to it. So I hope you guys like that idea. But yeah, I think I'm going to end up doing the, at least the whole rear interior. And then the roof is easy. I, the material that's left over is right here. So all I got to do is just replicate this material. I know where to get it. So I'll just get this, do the headliner. It's got all the bars to hold it up, so it shouldn't be too hard. And then, like I said, the seats look good. And then we might either upholster this or paint it. I think we should paint it sand it down nice gloss black or like i said whatever color he's painting the the van i don't know what he's doing yet all right i'm gonna make this little box right here i'll see if i can uh, uh set you up on the tripod or something Protrude out just a little bit, but maybe you can find another cigar box. But yeah, this one should work. You should like the idea. This is gonna be a surprise for him. See how good I am. This is the first time I've ever done this, so don't laugh. See how the see how the customer likes it. All right, guys, that's gonna end Bobby's backyard auto works. Catch you on next day.